Ola from arctablet.com and today I'm going to show you how to read your Arcos 120XS. So for the beginning you, you'll you need to be on, uh, as you can see here, on, you'll need to be on the on any X firmware. I've used this one, the last X firmware released by Arcos. And you also need to enable from developer options you'll need to enable the USB debugging and uh, in, on, your on your computer it should look like this if it's everything gets done properly so uh, this is the batch file that I've compiled I've gathered all the files from XDA and I put them all here uh, so basically you run the batch file Please read what is written here because they are important information. And uh, please note that the fact that if you are not on uh, an X firmware, you'll not be able to, to root your tablet. So if you are on Jelly Bean, this thing will not work. So for the beginning, we're gonna press any key to continue because I've enabled the uh, USB debugging. So I'm gonna press any key to continue. Now it's installing uh, the root by Paul O'Brien. Already the tablet it's restarting it. It was restarting and uh, it should continue. Now it's booting again. After the tablet starts up again, we're gonna press the next key. Tablet booted, and now we're gonna press the next. Okay, the second step it's taking by the tablet is restarting again. We will wait to, uh, to the tablet to restart again, it will take a little bit longer because in this stage. Uh, the routing method it's not quite so good so uh, it basically lags the tablet it's moving very slowly and it will take longer if you will we'll be able to look from an angle you'll see that it is some background light on the tablet but actually you cannot see it as you can see finally it started up come back here press again and now the SDA is installing and uh, again the tablet is restarting basically this will the SDA will enable you to have the developer mode active now your tablet will start again again slowly very slowly Started. So we're gonna go to the next step. Press again one key. Now the, the firmware is copied towards the SD card, the internal one. It will take a while, like 100 seconds from what I remember, because it's a big one. This is the firmware that you will use it from now. It's a Jelly Bean rooted firmware. It's made by Sir Petro. So we're all gonna wait for this. It'll take a while, as I said. I'm sorry for the shakiness of the video, but I don't have a tripod. After this, the tablet will restart again.
also find in the in the batch file uh, a place from where to download the, the firmware the, the X1 if you already passed the jelly bean so you just need to copy the address and paste it in your browser system by using the volume buttons if I will be able to do this okay recovery system you select it by using the power button and after that you go to developer edition Select flash kernel and its in its RAM FS and uh, on your computer it should pop up a new you know removable hard SD card and you'll put here the files from this folder. As you come back to your tablet and you select, uh, you will select OK. Press OK. The tablet will restart again. Come back here. Now the tablet will restart again in the in the old X firmware. Again, it will take a little bit longer. Okay, this is some explanations on how to select the files and what to put on, on the tablet after you enter in the recovery mode. Uh, how to, where to navigate and how to put the files on there. See if you do it right, it will pop up directly. You don't need to open it. Okay, the tablet booted again. Now, okay, so this is these are the steps. So, this is the last step the, 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 the last reboot of the tablet. Uh, rebooting now again in recovery mode. And we're gonna select now. We're gonna select developer edition. So not the stock one. We're gonna select developer edition. Okay, the tablet is booting now again. take quite a while because it's the first startup of it, usually around two minutes. Okay, actually now it starts starting. Basically, this is it. This is Jelly Bean with the firmware. It's made, it's made 
by Sergio Petru, the root method is made by Paul O'Brien and all the other discoveries are made by Kaju from XDA. Uh, I've compiled the patch file and you should be okay by using it, it's very easy to use it. It's quite good for the flashaholics and other people that tend to flash their tablets on a daily basis sometime. This is it, thank you for watching, bye bye. I'm global and I'm from Apple.com.